So I'm afraid there's not too much to laugh about tonight or as much as there's to laugh about when it comes to the question of Christian salvation and what man must do to attain it. <laughs> now death again. Lord, I will roam this whole great earth of thine relentlessly and seek out small and great. All men that cherish thy commandments not but lower than the beasts have sunk. All hearts given to the earthly choice may spare shall pierce, and blinded they shall find not heaven's gate. I shall it be with him on that dread day, whom faith and charity do not befriend. <sighs> every man and every woman that will be summoned tonight have entered the room a few minutes ago and have taken seats in this very room. <sighs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's neither a boring reading nor a cabaret. Change of plans, it's a trap. You didn't really think it's going to be that easy, did you? Well, I think it's time to settle accounts. I think it's time to settle accounts. 70 years, 70 years. Well. You've managed to make the spirit of Alpach a meaningless phrase. After 70 years, has the spirit finally left the building? <laughs> well, done Team Spiritless, get ready to be introduced to the one and very every man. Every man proceeds to action right away and starts planning his travel to the so-called Magic Mountain. Alpach. And a few phone calls to the tourist office later, every man seems to be fully taken by the spirit of Alpach. Say that again! Say that again! <laughs> you got to be kidding me. You want me to stay in the Alpachhof? Although, although, all the very important people are staying at the Burgerhof. Listen, man, this is a vicious attack on my person. Is this the tourist office or the terrorist office? <laughs> Every man, you're wasting my time. Look at me. This most obviously seems to be a skull. And I'm wearing a cape. Who on earth could possibly run around like that? I, I really don't know. Vivian Westwood, maybe? <laughs> ah, I tell you what, everything, everything was better in the old days, everything without an exception. Nowadays, the people, bloody people, they complain for the slightest reasons. Yeah, the slightest reasons. The transportation offer, the transportation offer. We had to walk to Alpha for hours. Oh, and then the bus is not coming. <laughs> so the transportation offer is the number one, number one, and there are plenty to come. Okay, second, they complain about the selection of food in the supermarket. <laughs> it's a bloody supermarket, <laughs> not a hyper duper uber market. <laughs> My God, and of course they complain if the mineral water is too sparkly. My God, I, the, I remember these speakers, they come to you and they say, oh, I have to talk, I need non-sparkling water, I'm a little princess. <laughs> I hate them. We had to walk 12 for hours. <laughs> think of that, think of that. Oh, I tell you something. It makes you, yeah, French. <laughs> okay, all the speakers and the participants as well, they will be talking hot air all the time, which means we're having a political symposium throughout the whole three weeks. <laughs> so far, yeah, yeah, and after sweating hellishly in the Alpov cellar, we will end the Congress by going all to hell. Yeah, but I know, I know, it's very hard, the word hell. So, um, we don't use the word hell anymore. Um, the, the new term is off space. <laughs> the new term is off space. It's an empty swimming pool 
in which a foggy forest grows. <laughs> and I will use it for my startup, Beat Me. <laughs> but, sorry, enough of advertising. This is not a breakout session bought by a sponsor, <laughs> T-Mobile. Or, as I used to call them, the Magenta Tupperware parties. I wanna wake up in that village that never sleeps And find I'm a number one, top of the list King of the hill, I'll do the bar I thought I would I'll make a brand new start. I'll 